how's it going everyone in today's video we're talking about a topic that many people have a hard time dealing with and it has increased significantly in this generation and that is procrastination it pulls you away from the things that you do that's important and it puts you in a state of mind of being frozen in time because as soon as you finish time has already passed you by and when it passes you by you have to push things back and it leads you to have sleepless nights and stress a good 95 percent of people worldwide procrastinate but some people have it extremely bad where it takes a hold of their lives which prevents them from getting things done luckily in this video i have some tips to get you out of that cycle of falling victim to this thief of procrastination you see ever since we were children our parents and teachers forced us to do things that we didn't want to do and we didn't have a lot of power of saying no so now that we're grown up we have freedom to do pretty much anything that we want but with that freedom comes responsibility and it puts a toll on us like having to work or study for school and sometimes we just want to take a break and relax but time has changed where we don't only relax we get trapped into the cycle of the new technology that we have at our fingertips and what happens when you do something that gives your mind excitement you want to do it again and again and this leads to addiction and having bad habits which controlling it is extremely difficult so one way for this is to eliminate the gateways to that distraction that you have because getting rid of something that has been a part of your life for a long time is like a magnet that keeps following you everywhere you go so if you have social media around you you can guarantee you'll always fall down that rabbit hole if you have access to it so putting it in the other room turning your phone off is one way from getting sucked back in because what you see especially if it's entertaining you want to reward yourself before you have even finished the work and by doing that you're saying to yourself that you can be rewarded anytime you feel like it which will cause you to not have any discipline and with no discipline you have no control so break the bad habits and create a foundation of good ones but you may ask why does it feel so good to procrastinate that's easy because we avoid the stress and pressure of the task at hand that's why one minute you can be doing a project to finding yourself indulged in watching your favorite sitcom because it doesn't require any mental work to watch something entertaining that gets you dopamine we're going to be talking about other helpful techniques and tools in this video but the thing to keep in mind you must manage yourself before you start a task so if you're dealing with a lot of pressure it's good to relieve that before diving in into something that requires a lot of energy by taking 15 minutes to do whatever you want to do so when you focus on the work you have already gotten your boost of dopamine so you're balanced mentally to be productive in the face of adversity because if you can survive an hour of hard work with no distractions you can push yourself to things that you never knew you were capable of doing but wait a minute what if you have adhd attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and you don't have access to adderall or any other prescription drugs or you just can't have them because they cause psychological problems know this it's okay to make mistakes you're a human being and things aren't going to be perfect so if you do get distracted for a short period of time it's not the end of the world what you want to do is take strategic breaks the pomodoro method is a great one which is a time management method what you do is work for 25 minutes and you give everything that you got when it comes to focus then you take a five minute break you do this three times and then after that you give yourself a 30 minute break so you can do whatever you want to do in between that time then you repeat the cycle until you finish your task remember to use a timer for this method also listening to music whether it's classical or lo-fi hip-hop 
will alleviate your stress or anxiety. Not only that, it can enhance your focus and provide you with motivation and improve your mood. Because doing a task shouldn't be mind boggling. It should be simple and effortless. Another technique that can help you where you feel getting pulled back in to the distractions is by staring at the task for at least 60 seconds and taking deep breaths. This lets your mind prepare what's at hand by presenting you the challenge you may face because you have to do it anyway so you might as well get it over with. Another one is called eating the frog. The credit comes from Mark Twain. The idea behind this is you identify one challenging task will be the frog in this case and you complete the task first thing in the morning. So what this does is it gives you momentum so you can tackle your day and handle anything that's at hand. You can look back and remind yourself by doing the most difficult task which will make you unbreakable so you can achieve excellence and having the power of this accomplishment brings you closer with dealing with any different type of size of frog that you have to eat. Let's move on to the different type of decisions that we have. Say for example you're in school and you gotta study for your math test, your history test, your science test and you have a lot to study for. So you pick one that is the hardest but not only be that, you break it down so it's easy to digest because the mind can only handle so much at once. You study for that and you worry about the rest later. Meaning it's not on your mind and what's right in front of you, you focus on. This also relates to multitasking. Don't do that because the mind can only process so much. And if you multitask, more likely you will forget or worse, get burnt out quickly. And that will definitely lead to procrastination. I'm not sure if you know this, but there are time management apps that can help you manage your time. So it can give you the tools that you need to get yourself started, such as Trillo and Toggle. With the application like Trillo, you can get a clear view of how much time you spend on tasks and identify any areas where the performance could be improved. This video isn't sponsored, so do your own research before signing up. When you manage your time, such as having a schedule, you guarantee of being more successful. What about this? You come home from work or school and you feel exhausted, but you have a paper to type and you know you don't want to stay up all night to get it done because it has to be turned in tomorrow. So a solution for this is doing it for 30 seconds to know that your brain is capable of doing it. What that does is gets the wood burning in your mind so you can activate the action to know you're always almost finished and this pain that you face of stress and feeling tired and the work that is at hand is all temporary so face it now so you can get it off your shoulders and feel good about yourself another good one is taking the pressure off of your mind and seeing if you can do 10 seconds of the work that's in front of you and if you can do 10 seconds of that see if you can do 10 more seconds so you can start the fire and keep going because sometimes just getting get started is all you need let's pull away from this for a minute and let's talk about the power of how exercising can give you an edge in performing at your best as you know when you're in your comfortable state you don't have a lot of motivation rather that's taking out the garbage or even wanting to go out with friends not only that, your thoughts are kind of slow. So when you increase the blood flow to the brain, your brain is exposed to more oxygen and nutrients. This improves your ability to handle difficult situations and process information quicker so you can do any work that is at hand very easily. Because exercising is like a warm up for the mind to learn and process information quickly because the blood through your veins are heated and wants action and it strives for different stimulants. Not only that, it's just really good to stay healthy and increase your chance of living longer. So if you've got to go for a jog or work out and do some push-ups and sit-ups, do it because it's going to help get yourself in that state of mind smoothly. There are different type of steps to be productive. The first thing that you want to do is break down the task into baby steps. You see, when something is too complicated, it makes us feel overwhelmed. And that can be really frustrating for people. And when something is frustrating and hard, it makes you not want to do it. 
So breaking things down, not only that, taking a break and returning with a clear state of mind makes a huge difference. You also want to keep it small. An example of this is you have 30 pages to read. Instead of reading all those pages at once in an hour time frame, break it down to five or seven pages so you can absorb the content and have time to think what you read. Because the worst thing that you can do is read 30 pages and not remember what you ever read. It happens all the time. So that's why you want to break it down to bite-sized pieces so you can taste what you consume and you can recall the information that you read. The next one that I think you will really like is hacking pleasure from the work that you do. You see, our minds wants to do things that are easy and to be led. That's why you can watch tons of videos without having to take a break. What if you can apply that type of pleasure and apply it to your studies? Then that will change everything. By flipping the script on your brain and saying this is going to be fun, you will alleviate that friction of not wanting to do something to opening the gates of pleasure to going down a path of enjoyment when facing boring and mundane tasks. Because you see, the mind has many, many different perspectives of how to look at something. And you can change it all by changing the way you think. And the last thing that I want to say before I end the video is that procrastination is a part of all of our genetic DNA. Because we evolved from the Stone Age through evolution. And with all this technology and having an intelligent conscious mind makes us supreme beings also very vulnerable with getting distracted because we all want to unwind once in a while but with social media and technology it makes it really hard for us to show our true potential but nevertheless with these tips i can assure you you can get better you just gotta develop good habits anyways the greatest thief this world has ever produced is procrastination so get well and stay humble i hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.